To excavate for the traditional laying of cables is a financially uncertain undertaking. Widely differing terrain can frequently lead to unwelcome surprises. Push and pull is a both simple and exceptional concept for the laying of cables for wind farms, for example. The method is based on propelling and winching the cable through an already laid SRS pipe. The pipe is laid out at the same time as the road system for the wind farm is built. Today there are lengths of up to 500 metres available that can be supplied on both pipe reels and normal cable drums. At an early stage the pipe can be integrated into the bed of the road and placed, in this particular case, in the middle of the roadway with an infill of only 30 centimetres. In this way pressure from the weight of heavy traffic can be avoided. The pipe can also be ploughed down into the side of the road. The plough is front loaded and provides a large radius and very little friction when laying the pipe. The pipe can cope with high load pressure and is in these conditions classified for an infill of only 15 centimeters. När de har försökt en halvdag och sett att det här funkar ju faktiskt så vänder de och tycker att det var kul att på kabelförläggningssidan att något nytt kommer istället för att schakta och sanda och banda som man alltid har gjort. The plough can also be an alternative pipe laying option in very stony terrain. In such cases a ripper is required to prepare the terrain before the plough can lay the pipe in place. But because the pipe is so strong, the need for infill material is reduced. Ja, vi försöker ju få med oss slangen så tidigt som möjligt så att vi slipper att vara i vägen för de här som ska trycka i kabeln sen för då trycker de ju i den just då när vi ska ansluta verken då. Laying the pipes at the same time that the roads for the wind farm are built saves money. At the same time it provides better space and time for cable connections once the wind farm is in place. The method of winching and propelling the cable through the pipe works effectively on very long stretches. The equipment that feeds the cable into the pipes is small and light, but powerful. Here a cable is being propelled into a pipe length of only 120 meters. A winch is not required for this, but with a winch and double feed units, the system can cope with lengths of up to one kilometer. Before the cable is inserted, a lubricating ball is run through the pipe with the help of compressed air. This takes with it a pull through from the winch and lubricates the inside of the pipe so that the cable subsequently glides more easily through the pipe. The ball also removes any water that may have accumulated inside the pipe. The lubricating ball also pulls a sonar with it, so that it is easy to discover and locate any damage or constraint within the pipe. The difference in power required to just winch and to both winch and propel the cable is huge. The method of propelling the cable reduces the curve friction against the pipe and considerably reduces the power requirement over long stretches. The equipment feeds in cable at a speed of between 16 and 20 meters per minute, regardless of the length of the stretch. To set up the winch and feed units takes only 20 to 30 minutes and no heavy machinery is needed to handle the equipment. I can say that if you plug or shack, it's a total loss for both of us. We get a better framdrift, we get a safer placement. Quality and time, we get also a loss, which is even more displayed by the seller. Another advantage of the concept is the ability to integrate a fiber optic cable with the electrical cable. No extra canal is required to jointly lay the power and communication networks. The fiber optic cable can be propelled through the pipe as soon as the electrical cable is connected at the station. The push and pull concept reduces the cost of laying cables by coordinating with other excavation operations. The method to then winch and propel a cable through the pipe is thorough and safe using light and flexible equipment. Any upgrade of the cable network in the future can be simply carried out without any major intrusion.
and the whole of the equipment is environment friendly and recyclable should the equipment have to be phased out. Ja, här har jag ju mer fasta förutsättningar av vit. Kostnaden, totala kostnaden. Ska vi lägga traditionell kabelförläggning? Ja, då vet vi ju inte hur det ser ut i backen där kabeln ska ligga. Det kan vara även att vi får lägga kanalisation samt till sprängning då. I och med att vi är ju i oundersökt mark. Så att det, det underlättar ju mycket med att man har mer kontroll på kostnaderna. Så jag skulle tippa på att totalt ekonomiskt så lägger vi kanske på en 10-15 procent billigare kabelförläggning. Push and pull provides a smarter network at the right price.